Hey everybody, it's David Kirsch, and welcome to Sound Bites in Kirsch's Kitchen. I promise you today that we're gonna talk about the Ultimate New York Body Plan. This is the program that I'm launching um, Monday, this coming Monday, and any of you that have followed me over the years um, know that I wrote that book back in 2004, and I've gotta say it's very gratifying to me because um, it's stood the test of time, it really has. The program is basically at its core about cleaning out your body, disconnecting from things that um, are not necessarily healthy for us, that are clattering our minds. Um, so disconnecting to reconnect and reconnect with a better appreciation for the foods that fuel us give us energy and foods that maybe are not quite as energizing, right? That's the key here, that's the key. Um, Stacy, hey Stacy, how are you? Sylvia and mom and Uncle Joel and Susan. So what I wanna do is I wanna focus on what you can eat because people go, oh my God, you have to follow the ABCs, no alcohol, no bread, no processed carbs. What can you eat? So I actually spent the better part of a day in between sessions and the morning live um, creating a day of food. And any of you that know me know I love to cook and I love spice and I love flavor and that's what this is about, right? So when food looks good and tastes good, tastes flavorful, it doesn't seem like you're depriving yourself and you're really not, right? So here's a typical day of food. Um, so I'm a big egg guy, I love my eggs, and I love putting different dresses on them. I do frittatas, I do omelets, I do uh, scrambled. I... So this morning I made a very simple frittata with shiitake mushrooms and uh, sweet Vidalia onions, a little bit of olive oil, sauteed that, a little spinach. I used five eggs, I used three whole eggs and two whites. You saute the vegetables, you cover it with eggs, you let the eggs set a little bit on the end and then you stick it right into the broiler. Done, 10 minutes, you've got this gorgeous frittata. And I'll make it, and I won't eat this all at once, but I'll have this over the course of the day. It's an ultimate snack, it really is. So it's breakfast and a snack. Next up, my low fat egg salad. Um, the only thing it doesn't have, guys, is mayonnaise. I'm sorry. Um, and sometimes I'll put unsweetened Greek low-fat 2% yogurt in there, but I didn't have it, um, and I didn't want to put the Kite Hill vanilla. I didn't think that it would actually go so well. So I used some celery. I used Dijon mustard. I'm a big Dijon mustard guy. I love it. So there's another, there's another snack, morning snack, or breakfast option. You can always hard boil eggs. You can always do um, a protein shake. But right now I'm not doing protein shakes. I'm sticking with, with whole food. Um, I'm gonna go to lunch. For lunch, I did uh, turkey spinach burgers. Very, very simple. And all of these meals, each one of them, um, were three or four ingredient recipes and took five or 10 minutes these turkey burgers, you saute the spinach, take a little ground turkey, a little salt and pepper. I put a little, um, I put a little nutmeg in there for the first time and it was actually quite good, quite flavorful. Um, and then broil it, broil it four minutes per side and you've got sliders. This is actually Amelia and Francesca's dinner tonight. So there's no zippy spice in there, right? So we've got breakfast, we have snack, for those of us that love fish, and I'm a big fish guy, I love wild salmon. I ran over to Italy today, the best wild salmon, and I made my salmon wasabi burgers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut these comments off for a second because I really want you to see, and I hope the comments are not blocking it, right? I want you to see. Um, so I actually created the recipe, but I haven't made this in a very, very long time. It's actually quite delicious. What did I do here? Wait, I turned the camera. Oops, there you go. So salmon wasabi burger. Wasabi burger could be a lunch, it could be dinner, 
Broccoli, organic broccoli, steamed broccoli is amazing. It's a great source of vitamin C and amazing vitamins. You've got good fiber there. You want to have fiber to keep you regular. Um, and then last but not least, in the main courses, I made stuffed red peppers for you all. I wish you were here, right? Because I, I have a lot of food. Um, ground turkey, red peppers, organic red peppers, and they've got a little hat on them. There they go, they've got a little hat, uncover them, there you go. Photo ready, delicious. Red peppers, amazing source of vitamin C, great nutrients, you're not eating fruit, remember? We're gonna talk about what you're not eating in a second, but I wanna start it with the positive. And then I made this for all the vegetarians out there, and there are vegetarians, right? Where are you getting your protein? Where are you getting some of the vitamins you need, um, the fiber? Um, and I think beans or quinoa um, or lentils would be great, right? So I took cannellini beans and I took fresh rosemary and a little garlic and fresh lemon juice and I made it into um, a hummus. And the rosemary and the beans and the garlic is delicious. So, I love crunching. I think crunching psychologically, especially when you're, when I don't wanna say dieting, but when you're restricting the caloric intake, when you're being very choosy about what you're eating, cucumbers, celery, jicama, red peppers, those are the things I go with. I wouldn't go with carrots. I wouldn't go with beets. Um, you know, more sugar, higher in sugar. So the cucumbers really, really do it. Oh, so we have, there, there are your courses. Um, I love snacking on nuts. Raw cashews, raw almonds are my favorites. And a single serving is about 10 of each of them. So if you're gonna follow the plan, you're gonna eat 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 4 p.m., and 7 p.m. Seven is seven. That's the green zone. Anything later than seven o'clock, I'm not gonna be very happy about. So you're gonna to have to really reduce the quantity of your food if you're gonna eat past seven o'clock. But if you have a job or you get the kids to bed or whatever it is, you've gotta eat past seven, lighter. You don't wanna to go to bed on a full stomach, not healthy. I say it to my girls all the time. All right, ABCs, what is it? So here, I started with the positive, right? This is pretty good, delicious. It's, I had that burger, it was off the charts. Wild salmon, wasabi powder, water, Dijon mustard, black sesame seeds. I mean, how can you go wrong? It's clean, it's refreshing, it's got great, great health benefits, right? So, the idea behind the New York Body Plan was a body reset, both in the exercise component, but also in the eating component. And I think the eating is one that often people uh, neglect. And we talked about it, right? Abs are made in the kitchen and all the exercise in the world is gonna take you just so far if you're not focusing on the food you're eating. All right, A, alcohol. Look, there have been many books before and many books since. I'm gonna get it, right? Because, I don't know why, I think I look older on this cover, but this, um, this baby, um, very proud of her. This is a two week, two week program. Um, and it was an international bestseller and it actually still selling 16 years later, which is amazing. And people have followed it. Um, some authors have copied elements of it. Um, and I guess that's the truest form of flattery, right? Um, you like what I do, right? So A, alcohol. So look, I'm saying for 14 days, but here for this, for these purposes, on Honeycomb for seven days, for seven days, you're gonna abstain from alcohol. You can do it, not a big deal. So no wine, no tequila, no beer, whatever it is, your pleasure for seven days. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you will feel the difference 
of not having the wine. You really will. Um, I don't drink um, often, and when I do, I really feel it because I don't drink a lot. I just feel cleaner, I feel lighter. Um, so seven days, no alcohol. If that's a deal breaker, then I'm sorry. Um, the rest of this is not gonna work for you. But I think we can all do seven days and I'll explain why, all right? So A, B, B, bread. Sorry, mom, no bread. No bread, no crackers, gluten-free or otherwise, right? Because I think that's a whole crock anyway. Um, but no bread, no processed carbs at all. None. Protein, greens, celery, nuts, beans, lentils, quinoa, if you're a vegetarian for sure. Um, we'll talk about quantities at another time. Um, so there's your B, no bread. Processed carbs are probably the single most determining factor behind the obesity epidemic in this country. It's ridiculous, ridiculous. Waste of carbs, you don't need it. Yeah, I've had an occasional piece of Ezekiel toast um, once every other week, um, but I'd much rather not have it. I'd much rather have my eggs, my frittata, um, some oatmeal, things that are not processed. I don't want processed, okay? C. C and B are very close. It's starchy carbs in this case, right? So right now, for the purposes of the seven days, you're not gonna eat sweet potatoes. You're not gonna eat rice. You're not gonna eat pasta. But pasta actually is a processed carb. So it's both a kind of a B and a C, right? Dairy. No dairy. So we're not kids anymore, right? Our bones are not growing. There are so many sources of calcium. Let's see. Let's find one, two, three. Salmon, broccoli, almonds, right? Great, great, great sources of calcium. Dairy has sugar, lactose. Um, and we, you may not be lactose intolerant, but for this, for this part of this program, I want you to stay away from the dairy, right? I find dairy bloating. I find it's not great for your skin. Um, I'm not gonna say that any food is necessarily bad. I love yogurt, but I'll have kite whole yogurt, which is almond milk yogurt, and I feel much cleaner. Um, too much dairy can be mucus producing, um, it can be inflammatory to your, to your body inside. We don't want to do that. So let's stay away from dairy. E, artificial sweeteners. Now, there's argument about what's an artificial sweetener. I'm referring to sucralose, aspartame. Those are the things that are really bad. Ace K, really bad. Um, stevia root, not an artificial sweetener, and I think it's totally fine. Xylitol, um, a sweetener derived from white tree bark, not an artificial sweetener. Monk fruit, not, a, not an artificial sweetener. Those are the sweeteners that I will use going forward um, in my supplements, when and if they come out. Um, I don't like sweet things, so I don't use it uh, over the course of my day, but diet sodas, Deadly diet, iced tea, any diet drink, really. You're gonna to stick to water. You can, you can, you can enhance it with um, um, a little uh, emergency vitamin pack, or or a squeeze of lemon, or even essence of some watermelon in there, right? Just to get some some uh, fruit flavor in the water. But water is gonna be the thing you go by. So we've got A, B, C, D, E, F. All right, so you don't see any fruit on this table, right? Um, although cucumbers are fruits, by the way. Anything that is seed is a fruit, so this is a fruit. Um, fruits have sugar. So I have clients 
that will say to me, look, I had a fruit salad and then I had an apple and then I had a banana or had a banana before I worked out. Isn't that good? Is it better than a chocolate bar? Yeah, I mean, pretty much anything is better than a chocolate bar, right? Um, but again, this diet, this plan is about ridding your body of excess sugar, ridding your body of dairy, of artificial sweeteners, of alcohol, processed carbs, keep it whole, anything that swims or flies, salmon swims, eggs come from something that sort of flies, maybe, I don't know about chickens, maybe or not, turkey, um, turkey burgers, and, and that, that's what we're eating. So you're eating quite beautifully, right? You're not depriving yourself. Clients over the years have said, oh my God, I can't eat all this food, how am I gonna lose weight? I've had people drop 10 to 14 pounds, and more than dropping the pounds, they, their body felt like it was re-energized, revitalized, right? So getting away from your foods that are not great for you, so that you can have, reintroduce your body and your belly, your brain and your belly. You sort of get disconnected sometimes and say, hey, what's up belly? Wow, this food really makes me feel great. This, not so great, right? That's the idea. You're gonna reset. You're gonna reset your body. You're gonna reset your body and your mind so that you're eating, you're fueling to energize, you're fueling to live. You're not living to eat, you're eating to live. Very, very big difference. I have a couple of questions here. So, somebody said um, uh, they were intimidated by the ABCs. And look, on, at first glance, the ABCs are definitely intimidating. I am taking away your glass of wine. Um, turtle, I'm telling you, five to seven days, seven days, not so long. What's gonna happen? Seven days of no wine. You will definitely feel better. You will definitely look better. You will definitely have more energy. Those are promises. I saw it happen and it happened within the first few days. So the fact that I cut the program from 14 days to seven days should not affect the overall physical feeling. The pounds to me are irrelevant. It's resetting your body, reconnecting your brain and your belly. That's what this is about. Um, so I've been a Kirsch fan for decades. I've always followed celebrities and you always mention who keeps them in shape. I never reached out before. Um, I want to look my best, but I'm not sure that I'm going. Okay, here's the deal. This person is concerned that drastic diet is not actually going to be the thing that she wants. Um, I, this is not a diet, right? And for me, the most important part of this title was it's a total transformation, mind and body. And all throughout the book, the publisher wanted me to put extreme makeover, wanted me to put lose pounds, blah, 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 right? So, you know, Heidi Klum, when I need to get in shape fast, I know that David's a man. With David, I know I'll get real results. That's not real results like dropping five pounds on the scale because you're starving yourself and having some dumb juice diet, dumb juice diet, right? Because that's not sustainable. I don't care, right? Um, I was around before then. They came after me, all of them, all of them. I want you to eat, I wanna encourage you to eat because when you eat and you eat soundly, your body will change, your life will change. And I'm not saying it's always gonna be this way. Are you never gonna have a glass of wine? Absolutely not, you will have a glass of wine, but you'll, know how that wine makes you feel. And maybe it will be one glass and it'll be every couple of days or not. But often when we just go through the motions of our everyday life, stress, kids, husband, wife, job, uh, quarantine, uh, COVID-19, 
um, um, protests and sadness and stress. We eat to numb ourselves and we lose ourselves. We lose track of who we are and what our goals are. Um, and we're not as energized and we're not as focused. So this is about stopping and this is the perfect time guys. It's been three and a half months and this quarantine is driving us all to drink proverbially, right? So I'm gonna say now, we're getting outside, we're masked. Let's see if we can do this. Next question. My friends laugh when I say that I'm allergic to dieting, but I really am. I was a model in my teens and 20s and I spent so many years depriving my body that now, if I think about cutting something out, I get an incredible urge to overeat. Am I meant to just accept where I am at and not try to manipulate my body size with dieting? Um, this is not a diet, right? It's not. Um, it's called the Ultimate New York Body Plan, right? It was a plan. It's a life plan. This is an evergreen book. This is a book that was written 16 years ago. And what I said then, I stand by now. I do. I've modified it a bit. Maybe the egg whites are now blended with some yolks because I know yolks are very healthy and it's good. I like it. It's good for my skin. Um, it's vitamin D, it's good for my immune system. So things are not black and white. And they don't have to be on this plan either. Does that mean you're always, always, over the course of the next seven days, you're never gonna fall off? Probably not, right? You may, and that's okay. You've got the tools, you've got the wherewithal. I'm gonna give you the plan, the workouts, the diet, meaning the foods that are optimally fueling and energizing and the foods that are not so good. So we know that alcohol, processed carbs and bread and sugar. Those are the four devils. Do you ever need to have sugary things again? No, you really don't. That's why I made the granita on Tuesday, right? You can have that and it's got a little bit of natural sugar and it satisfies you. You don't need to have a cake or a cookie or whatever. But if you want to have the occasional treat, do it. Just know that sugar is poison in your body. What substitutes can I use instead of bread or potatoes? My family loves carbs, especially at dinner. Well, you're not going to. I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you you are. For the next week, when you start on Monday, this is going to be your carb. And it's delicious. And your body, your belly, will be less bloated when you leave the table. I promise you. I promise you. I know how I feel when I indulge with the girls and have a piece of pizza. Truly. Or when I have my spaghetti and meatballs. I know how I feel. Even if it's quinoa pasta. It's a different kind of feeling. I feel fuller and bloated. I don't like it. So, the shortest amount of time I can do A, B, and C and still benefit. I've seen clients do it for four or five days and feel better already. So, seven days is not that long. People did it for 14 days. First two days were really hard. If you're eating a lot, of, if you eat a lot of carbs, um, particularly a lot of processed carbs, you may get some headaches. But that should be a sign to you that you're not, you're, you're, your diet is not balanced anyway. You want to balance it up. But day three, there's that aha moment, right? I can do this. Totally fine. I can do the exercise. I can fuel my body and feel amazing and get the vitamins and the nutrients I need without the processed carbs. Wine? Heart health? Do some burpees for heart health. You don't need a red glass of red wine for hard health, sorry. Um, I'm confused how to incorporate the New York body plan into my training plan. Don't I need carbs to work out hard or will be taking fuel from fat source? You are gonna push yourself as hard as you can push yourself. Are you gonna push yourself as hard as when you're not on a calorie restricted diet? Absolutely not. 
But because you're calorie restricted and you're burning those calories, your body is going to churn and burn fat. And when you're done, because the biggest number that drops is the body fat. And that actually, with, without any exception, the people that have done this program and tens of thousands of people all over the world. If anyone from Germany is on, on the phone right now um, with us on, uh, on the live, they can attest to that. This program worked then, it works now. People revisit it after babies, people revisit it to get ready for weddings. It's there. It's very doable. DK Shanks were the best until yours are back in production. Uh, what should we supplement instead of shakes? Is there another brand you like? So there are a couple of brands um, that I do like. I do like a brand called Optimum Nutrition. Um, it's natural, it's uh, naturally sweetened. It doesn't have any fillers or anything that, I, you know, things like that. It's clean um, in both whey and casein. And then a relatively new one is called Legion. Um, and it's also natural, and I use that one too, because I too mourn not having my, my proteins. Um, so those are good options for you if, you, if you're a shake person. Um, I'm afraid to start any diet because my pattern is yo-yo, like the rest of the weight conscious world. This is not a diet. I don't know how many times I need to say it to you. This is a food reset. Look at your food, right? I know there are people out there that have done, you know, have done uh, the three week sugar diet or, or other types of diets. Um, I'm telling you, my book will stand the test of time. It has for almost 20 years, it will for 20 more. It's very, very simple um, and very intelligent. Processed carbs, you don't need it. Alcohol, you don't need it. I don't care how much you like that glass of wine. That's not helping you lose a weight. That's not energizing you. That's not getting your ass out of bed in the morning when you've got to get on the Peloton bike or get ready for one of my live classes. Think about it. The idea here is to be thoughtful and mindful of the things you put in your body. We're not always perfect. The world is not black and white. That's what this is about. But I want you to understand what you eat and what it does to you. And then you make an intelligent decision. I'm not gonna be there. You're gonna be there. You're gonna make a decision. It's not about yo-yo dieting. You're not dieting. You're having a life transformation. And if, as I suspect you will, you have more energy and you feel tighter and lighter in your body, then maybe you'll embrace the body plan every now and again. Maybe it's gonna be once a month. Maybe it's gonna be one week out of every month. Maybe it's gonna be two weeks out of every month. Whatever it is, right? You'll revisit it once you get in here and you start this plan, you'll want more. Um, if my husband is having a cocktail after work, what's a good non-alcoholic mocktail that will give both of us the impression that I'm joining him? Well, your mocktail is gonna have to be very boring, right? Because you're not gonna have anything that's got any fruit sugar. So it can be a seltzer with a lime, it can be a salsa with an orange slice. It can be an unsweetened iced tea. Sorry, right? Your husband should be doing it with you, by the way. Um, he doesn't want to get too jealous when you're rocking your body and he isn't. So I found that couples that did it together actually had an easier time, right? To do it, do it as a family or do it as a couple, not as a family at all. My kids dieting ever. Um, they certainly don't, I don't believe in that. But that's the idea here. The idea is, yeah, you are restricting. Um, it's not a diet, uh, it's a lifestyle. It's a choice we make. Um, and you can choose to do it or not do it. I'm telling you, I can't wait to eat my salmon wasabi burgers. The girls are gonna have the stuffed peppers because it looks like stuffed cabbage to them. Um, or the turkey burgers, or both, right? Easy to prepare, um, not expensive to prepare, I mean, except for the salmon, right? If you get wild salmon. Um, but that's the idea. I'm gonna turn comments on because I wanna stay on a little longer. 
and want, I want to answer questions if there are questions. I know that there may be. Let's see what we have here. Um, everything looks wonderful, good enough to eat. Well, it is. Hello, Bonnie. And let's see what else I have. Um, hello, Denise. Um, I will be posting recipes. Um, and let's see what else I have here. What else, what else, what else? Any other questions? What can I use instead of mayo? Well, so instead of mayo, I use, um, I can use, I use 2%, 2% uh, Greek yogurt, 2% uh, fat Greek yogurt, um, or 2% regular yogurt, right? It has a lot of protein, and if you wanna have the creaminess, that's fine. And um, I prefer Dijon mustard, um, and I prefer, you know, spice. Um, you're welcome. Sorry, late to the game. Where can I find the program? So the program will be coming out. Uh, we're posting it. It's starting on Monday. Um, it's a five-day plan. It's a shortened, abridged version of the Ultimate New York Body Plan, which was a 14-day life transformation. Not an overstatement, right? People that did it, um, were changed forever. Even if they didn't stay on it all the time, I get emails still, and I can't tell you how gratifying it is to me. People are saying, oh my God, I did your plan. A client I train now in Colorado did my plan 10 years ago or 12 years ago. Um, and I met her, I met her husband at the core club, and he said, wait a second, you're David Kirsch. Oh my God, my wife is obsessed. She's got all your books. She did this plan, blah, blah. So, you know, it's not, we, you know, when you write something and you know it's right, um, it was evergreen, right? It was something that, um, um, again, each one of my books, it, it, labor of love from my heart. And so the fact that people benefit from it, um, still to this day, I love that. Uh, portion control. So the way around portion control, actually there's a very good point, right? You can see here um, the frittata, right? So is having an extra piece of frittata gonna, look, look how delicious this is, right? I'm gonna open my own restaurant, what do you think? I'd lose my shirt, couldn't do it. Um, I'll leave that to my friend, Danny Meyer. Uh, again, peppers and, and ground turkey with with spices and nutmeg and 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 and, and turkey spinach burgers, um, like this. This is a this is a portion. This is a lot of food, right? So, eat slowly. I think often Americans, especially, we inhale our food. Um, we don't chew. Uh, we got to chew. I think thirty or thirty. I went to the girls' school. I always digress all the time. I went to the school for a lesson, a little healthy nutrition lesson, um, and I said, "Okay, everybody, how many times you need to chew your mouthful of food before you swallow it? Five, six, seven, eight, and I remember the number was like 30, 30 times, I think. And people were like, "What? What?" Um, and it really was it was an eye opener. Because the slower you chew and the more you appreciate the flavors um, and the textures and what you're eating, the more you're going to enjoy it, right? You inhale your food. There's a, there's a delay in the wiring from your belly to your brain. And I taught, I taught Francesca that when she was a very little girl. I said, hey, is your... Um, Sorry, that was a cat going in the turkey burgers. Ernie, don't do it. Um, is your belly telling you you're hungry, right? So if you eat slowly and mindfully, you're gonna eat less. We don't eat because we're stressed. We don't eat because we're sad. That's not what we do. I wanna get to the point where you move your body when you're sad and when you're stressed. Do a set of push-ups, do a set of lunges, do a plank. Get outside and go for a walk, masked. Don't look to food to be your everything. The only thing it is, is sustaining, right? That's what it is. It's not celebratory. It's not your consolation. 
It's to fuel your body. All right, let's see what else I have here. Um, oh, I love that. So Nancy, I think, says, I've been doing your plan for almost eight years. How amazing is that? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So there you go. It's written down. I'm not making it up. Um, Kate is here. I love that. And I'm sure I'm missing. I know that uh, Stacy was there for a little bit. Stacy, the amazing woman and owner of Alice and Olivia. Um, her daughters go to school with my daughters and uh, I'm a huge fan of hers. I think she's, uh, she's amazing. She really is. Um, let's see what we have here. Another question. Love your books and DVDs, oldies but goodies. It's okay, I'm an oldie but a goodie, I think. Um, things improve with age, I think. Um, I, I have. And but that's a whole different, that's a whole different life. We can talk about it some other time. I think in time, as we get older, and we have a better relationship to our bodies, a better relationship to food, a better relationship to relationships and people around us, things definitely get better. They do. Um, I'm gonna look for a few more minutes. Besides weight loss, what's the most common change? Most common change besides weight loss, energy, focus. No, um, no swings in your energy, right? You're not gonna have highs and lows. Carbs, right, broken down, are gonna give you a high and then it's gonna crash you. Here, you're eating carbs like broccoli that are full of fiber and proteins um, and nuts. I love cashews, guys, I'm gonna have one nut. So, increased energy, better focus. Happier, for sure. You may think that you're gonna be frustrated and sad, but I'm telling you, by day three of this five-day plan, seven-day plan, sorry, you'll get what I'm saying, I promise you. And if you don't, and you don't feel it, I wanna know why, and we can talk about it. But I'm very confident that it will deliver what I'm telling you. What's the best plant-based plant protein source? Oh, well, I mean, lentils, quinoa are great. Um, tofu is great. Um, you're referring to whole foods, not, not shakes, I'm assuming. So I would say that, tempeh. Um, you know, watch the, um, you know, watch, the, they're not, not caloric, so watch the portion size, um, but you can definitely do that. I made this, um, this, this um, bean, this cannellini bean hummus with rosemary, um, which is perfect, perfect for vegetarians. I'm gonna actually have a little more because I really love it. Um, it's so easy. Beans, rosemary, lemon, garlic, done. Delicious. Fiber, B vitamins, some protein. Awesome, right? Uh, see any other questions here? Which snacks and foods can I prepare for a picnic? Cucumbers, celery, red peppers. If you're not on the plan, throw in some carrots. Carrots are great, I love carrots. Nuts, raw nuts. I'll mix up, I'll do uh, almonds and I'll do cashews and I'll do some sunflower seeds. Uh, I'll do some pumpkin seeds, mix it all up. Another snack. Do a little egg salad. Do, do a turkey burger. They're very, I'm not gonna eat them because the girls are looking forward to eating them. But they're very easy to pack. Gobble them down. Room temperature is all room temperature. Um, I'm not gonna eat, talk and eat at the same time. So, so those are the things you wanna do. Sorry, late to, okay, I wanna see if anything else. Picnic, we got it. Um, I hope I, I hope I answered everything. Look, you guys are not shy. You let me know when I missed something this morning, I made a mistake and I, hey Gorov, um, Gorov, we're serving wasabi salmon burgers for dinner if you wanna come over. I made a few extras, always do. Um, and I posted on, 
on, on both on, on David Kirsch and not on honeycomb.fit. It's being fixed. This morning's great workout. It was a great strength band workout. We'll be up in the next 36 hours, along with my cooking segment from Tuesday night. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna sign off right now. Tomorrow morning at 7.45, we're revisiting the TRX workout. I'm gonna fix the sound and the setting. It's gonna be outside, but we're gonna do a full body TRX workout. I love you guys. I love that you support me. Um, hopefully, you'll do the plan. Ask me any questions, direct DM me, whatever you need to do. Have an awesome day. Denise, have a good night. Mom, Susan, Turtle, Bonnie, Gorov, and all of you. Um, say good night, and I'll see you in 13 hours. Take care, guys.